Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage. Thanks very much for joining me here today. It's coming into winter and before we hibernate completely, I just thought it'd be nice to clean the house really thoroughly and do it obviously without any harsh chemicals. It's really simple and you can clean along with me. Let's get into the video. So this is kind of specifically autumn cleaning. I just like to do a few certain jobs that are kind of good for this time of year that I don't do every week in my cleaning. I like to start outside with the leaves. Now there's so many obviously at this time of year and leaves are great to use as the brown component in the compost. So it's nice to get out and get fresh air. If you don't have any outside of your house, well, <laughs> less work for you to do. I just sweep everything up and pop it onto the compost and it just does it wonders. Next is getting rid of all the cobwebs. Now, instead of going out and buying stuff, I just get a stick from in the garden. Bamboo's great because it's really sturdy and I need it to be extra long. Our ceilings are high, so I need something really, really long and sturdy. I just get a towel, wrap it around, and I don't know about you, but I always have elastic bands. They come with vegetables and fruit sometimes. So just wrap it around. If you don't have an elastic band, then a piece of string will do. And what's great about this is anytime it's covered in cobwebs, just take it off, shake it outside, and then back on again it goes. So here we go, he's all ready to go. And as you can see, the ceilings are incredibly high. And it's really satisfying. <laughs> just keep going around the whole house, getting rid of all the cobwebs, the dust goes everywhere. I wear glasses, I keep my mouth closed because there is spiders and cobwebs galore. But when it is done, it really is satisfying and lovely to look up to a clean ceiling. Then with the stick and towel contraption, I clean under things like sofas, under cabinets, and it's just really handy instead of having to hoover everything. And then the other things I do is like those hard to reach areas. This is on top of the kitchen cupboards, those places that just get completely forgotten about. I like to hoover everything that I can, and then cleaning up above kitchen cabinets, all those places that get forgotten about during the year. Next is the mattress. I like to refresh it up. Baking soda is really easy for that. It's so effective. Sprinkle it all over the mattress and then just, I leave it on the mattress as I'm going off and doing other cleaning around the house and then I come back and just hoover it off and it just gives it a lovely fresh up before the winter comes along and you know we're hibernating for good. Another thing I like to do this time of year is clean the glass on the stove. It gets incredibly dirty. This is an old scrubber that used to be used in the kitchen. They're really handy for getting off a lot of kind of you know those grimy jobs and then all I use is some very hot soapy water, uh, really, really simple. And I like to just clean all around the stove and wipe the glass down with another cloth. And it's all ready for the winter months. I like to do some window cleaning at this time, just before it gets super cold and you don't wanna be going outside. This is half vinegar, half water mixture. I find it works great. I put it on with one cloth and then I kind of wipe it off with another cloth. And I find that it just leaves streak free windows. And I just go through the entire house cleaning all the windows. Another job I like to do at this time is really thoroughly cleaning the doors. It's something that I'll forget as the year goes on. And you can see the doors there, there's like grooves in it. So they get really dusty. This is a half water, half vinegar with some tea tree oil. And then I just go through the whole house doing all of the doors. Last but not least, because you know Christmas is coming, there's gonna be more gifts in the house, I like to just do a little mini clear out and get rid of things that we're really not using and just send them off to a charity shop. There you have it, a nice clean home. There's nothing like it. And for me, I find that I'm much more organized and much calmer 
when I have a nice, clean and tidy house. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you a bit of inspiration if you're finding it a bit of a struggle to get going with cleaning your house. And it's really nice to just keep it simple and keep it toxin free. So without further ado, I will see you in the next video. Thumbs up high on Fairyland Cottage and share it with anyone you like. Have a wonderful week. Thanks a mil for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye.